Janutan Jain is one of the most recognized gynae laparoscopic surgeon in the world medical fraternity from amongst the Indian doctors. She has been training gynecologists in the art of laparoscopic surgery for the last two decades. Live surgeries from the operating rooms of Vardhaman Hospital are regularly beamed across international conferences. Dr. Nutan, who is credited with the discovery of Jane Point for making entry in redo laparoscopic surgery, has made Vardhaman Hospital as the most sought-after destination for the complex gynae surgeries amongst the patients coming to India from all parts of the world. Laparoscopy in the modern era is just infallible. The surgeon needs to be competent, confident and continuously upgrade his or her skills and any surgery which can be done by laparotomy, that is by the open route, can be done by laparoscopy. And at our center, we excel in doing all types of procedures laparoscopically. The patient who has had a laparoscopic surgery done will always recommend all the persons he knows, his friends and peers, to go for a laparoscopic surgery. The reason being that laparoscopy gives a better patient outcome in terms of a shorter recovery, shorter hospital stay, early return to routine normal activities, and also early return to professional work. So these are the enormous benefits over the open surgical route. Actually, uh, the contraindications are only the skill and the available your infrastructure and your support team. Most of the procedures, like when we started doing laparoscopy way back in the 90s, there were limits that we could remove a tumor which is around 5 centimeters, then it came up to 10 centimeters, and nowadays we are routinely removing tumors which could be even 20, 25 centimeters. So all the contraindications are only in the mind and also of the skill and the infrastructure facilities which you have. So this is a very peculiar situation, mostly of Northern India. The reason being, I think it is twofold. Firstly, the workload of deliveries, cesarean sections and family planning related procedures is so much that most of the gynecologists are absorbed during the training time also and during in their further careers in private practice or in wherever they are, the burden of obstetrical work is too much. Secondly, training yourself and excelling in laparoscopic surgery is much more difficult compared to the open procedures. So any gynecologist needs to really give away a quite a big chunk of the workload of the obstetrical practice, meaning thereby that they do not have to go much into the childbearing and the cesarean section, and then they have to carve out a way for themselves to excel in laparoscopic surgeries. Then only it will happen that the gynae surgeries will come to the gynecologist rather than going to the general surgeons. I think that's a good question and it is really vital, very, very important because nowadays no age is bar. A young girl of 10 years may also come with a big ovarian tumor. Girls of around marriageable age, they are coming with large fibroids and also with endometriosis is also a big growing problem. So again I said it's only the skill. You need to have the skills for suturing also and also the facilities to carry out such surgeries and it is beautifully done by laparoscopy with just a 5 millimeter hole you can remove the entire tumor stitch back the uterus into normal shape and it's such a happy moment to see that girl or that lady pregnant just after 3-4 months of the surgery so organ preservation is never an issue any surgeon who is skilled in laparoscopic techniques and especially laparoscopic suturing to restructure the uterus back 
will be definitely able to preserve the organ and preserve fertility. We have been conducting trainings in laparoscopy since 1999 and our fellowship programs are much sought after because we give a lot of hands-on to the trainees. We have two types of fellowships. Once, there is an academic wing, the Indian College of Ops and Gyne, and this has recognized our center for six months fellowship. The other fellowship is which our center gives to the fellows and the trainees, that is of the duration of one year. And the best part is that along with laparoscopy, hysteroscopy, we have a very active infertility unit. So the fellows, they get a good chunk of work of infertility, transvaginal sonography and in vitro fertilization or the IVF facilities. So the trainees get a good hand because we are academically oriented they get to get involved in the research papers, to write chapters for the books, get a lot of hands-on and extreme rush of patients. So they gain a lot in a span of six months or one year. Yeah, that's also again a very good question. This depends upon the workload. Like in these Corona times, we are having about fewer cases and more elective surgeries but on a routine basis when we are having four or five surgeries per day then maybe an observership of about two to three weeks in which they learn about the equipment about the orientation and also about the basic concepts of laparoscopy so there are two types of trainees one who are extremely raw they have just passed their post graduation and they have come over to get trained in laparoscopy. So they may take about six weeks, but a person who is moderately exposed or somewhat exposed can really pick up very fast. So during the fellowship, they are able to perform surgeries definitely of moderate severity and everything is upon the fellow, persistence, patients, practice. Many fellows after going, they may just delve themselves into laparoscopy alone or as I said earlier, few of them they get lost into obstetrics. So they can go back and do myomectomies, laparoscopic hysterectomy, ectopic pregnancies, infertility evaluations, ovarian cysts and only the few like very advanced procedures like severe endometriosis or microsurgery, they may pick up gradually. Far from the madding crowds and traffic jams lies this beautiful tertiary care hospital located in the foothills of majestic Himalayas. The drive from New Delhi International Airport takes two hours amidst lush green surroundings through an eight-lane superhighway. The V sign of Vardhaman Hospital signifies the victory of good health over disease. Vardhaman Hospital stands firmly on the 35 years of patient trust built by the doctor duo of Dr. Mukesh Jain and Dr. Nutan Jain. Vardhaman Hospital is a 100-bedded tertiary care super speciality hospital in the fields of gynecology, laparoscopic gynae surgeries, reproductive medicine, fertility management, in vitro fertilization, orthopedics, joint replacement, arthroscopic surgeries and complex orthopedic trauma. The hospital is housed in a 6.5 acre plot nestled amongst green salubrious surroundings. The seven story building offers 2.5 lakh square feet of space to house 14 operation theaters, 60 single deluxe rooms and 40 beds for pre-surgery post-surgery and intensive care. Vardhaman Hospital has the latest and most advanced diagnostic facilities in the form of MRI, CD scan, fully automated pathology lab, color Doppler, ultrasound, digital x-ray and bone densitometry DEXA scan. 
massive investment in acquiring the best in class technology has made Vardhaman Hospital establish a new benchmark in terms of world class healthcare delivery system.